The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak is a captivating historical novel that transports readers to Nazi Germany during World War II. Published in 2005, this critically acclaimed work of literature weaves a poignant tale of love, loss, and the transformative power of words. In order to provide a comprehensive overview, it's essential to delve into the author's biography and the structure of the book itself. Marcus Zusak, an Australian author born in 1975, has crafted a remarkable narrative that showcases his mastery of storytelling. Growing up in a household where stories were cherished, Zusak developed a deep appreciation for literature and its ability to convey profound truths. This love for words shines through in The Book Thief, where Zusak's poetic and lyrical writing style captivates readers from the very first page. Now, let us delve into the structure of the book. The Book Thief is divided into ten distinct parts, each serving as a milestone in the protagonist's journey. These parts, with evocative titles, guide the reader through the story, adding depth and significance to the unfolding events. From The Grave Digger's Handbook to The Book Thief, each section introduces unique themes, characters, and plot developments, offering a multi-layered reading experience. With a total of 583 pages in its original hardcover edition, The Book Thief comprises a substantial narrative that draws readers into a richly detailed world. The book consists of a significant number of chapters, their exact count reaching upwards of 100. This abundance of chapters allows for a meticulous exploration of Liesel Meminger's life, allowing readers to witness her growth, encounter the diverse cast of characters, and gain insight into the impact of World War II on their lives. By dividing the book into ten distinct parts, Marcus Zusak creates a captivating narrative structure that keeps readers engaged and invested throughout. Each section offers its own unique atmosphere, themes, and revelations, encouraging readers to continue eagerly turning the pages. Whether it's the stolen books that Liesel treasures, the friendships she forges, or the acts of bravery amidst a war-torn society, each part of The Book Thief contributes to a mesmerizing mosaic of emotions and experiences. In the following sections, we will embark on a detailed journey through the intricacies of each part, unraveling the story's essence while highlighting the central characters, major plot points, and profound themes that make The Book Thief an unforgettable literary masterpiece. The Grave Digger's Handbook in part one of The Book Thief, we are introduced to Liesel Meminger, the courageous and resilient protagonist of the story. The section takes its name from a stolen book, The Grave Digger's Handbook, which holds great significance in Liesel's life. This initial part sets the stage for Liesel's journey and provides a glimpse into the tumultuous world of Nazi Germany. Liesel, a young girl who has been separated from her mother, is sent to live with foster parents, Hans and Rosa Huberman, in the town of Malching. It is during the funeral of Liesel's younger brother that she first encounters the titular book. Unable to read, Liesel clings to this stolen treasure as a reminder of her brother and a connection to her past. As Liesel settles into her new life, we witness the nurturing bond that forms between her and Hans Huberman, her foster father. Hans recognizes Liesel's thirst for knowledge and patiently teaches her how to read. Through their shared moments of learning, the power of words and storytelling becomes a prominent theme, setting the foundation for Liesel's personal growth and resilience. Part 1 not only introduces Liesel's immediate family but also unveils the vibrant supporting characters who enrich the narrative. We meet Rudy Steiner, Liesel's spirited and loyal friend, who accompanies her on daring escapades and becomes an integral part of her journey. We also catch glimpses of the stern yet caring Rosa Huberman, whose fiery personality conceals a deep affection for Liesel. This section, comprising several chapters, beautifully establishes the historical backdrop of Nazi Germany while highlighting Liesel's initiation into a world filled with books, love, and friendship. The pages of The Grave Digger's Handbook become a symbol of hope and escape, illustrating Liesel's evolving relationship with literature and foreshadowing the transformative power that books will hold throughout the story. As we delve into subsequent parts, 
we will witness Liesel's encounters with the complexities of war, her growth as an individual, and the profound impact she has on those around her. Each part unfurls new layers of emotion, unveiling the triumphs and tragedies that shape Liesel's life as The Book Thief unfolds. The Shoulder Shrug In part two of The Book Thief, titled The Shoulder Shrug, the narrative delves deeper into the complexities of Liesel's life in Nazi Germany. This section explores the impact of the war on Liesel, her relationships, and the challenges she faces as she navigates a society consumed by fear and oppression. Liesel's friendship with Rudy Steiner takes center stage in this part. Rudy, with his relentless determination and mischievous spirit, becomes not only Liesel's confidant but also her partner in various adventures. Together, they navigate the trials and tribulations of living under the Nazi regime, finding solace and joy in their shared experiences. Meanwhile, Liesel's relationship with her foster parents, Hans and Rosa Huberman, continues to develop. Hans, a kind and compassionate man, provides a safe haven for Liesel and nurtures her love for words. He encourages her to read and write, fostering a deep appreciation for literature within her. Rosa, though brash and stern, displays moments of tenderness, offering a sense of stability in Liesel's life. Part 2 also touches upon the power dynamics and indoctrination of Nazi Germany. Liesel's experiences at school, where Hitler youth propaganda is prevalent, highlight the ideological pressures that permeate society. The indoctrination becomes a backdrop against which Liesel's independent thinking and her defiance of the regime shine brightly. As Liesel's understanding of the world expands, so does her awareness of the persecution faced by Jews. The section introduces the character of Max Vandenberg, a Jewish man seeking refuge, who forms a profound connection with Liesel's family. Max's presence in the Huberman's basement becomes a secret that Liesel and her family must guard at great risk, adding an additional layer of tension to the narrative. With its evocative title, The Shoulder Shrug encapsulates the resilience and determination Liesel embodies as she confronts the atrocities and hardships of war. This part of the book, spanning multiple chapters, showcases Liesel's growing maturity, her willingness to question the prevailing beliefs, and her capacity to find strength and compassion in the face of adversity. As we move forward into subsequent parts, Liesel's journey will continue to unfold, revealing the impact of her relationships, the power of storytelling, and the indomitable spirit of a young girl determined to defy the darkness that surrounds her. Main Kampf In Part 3 of The Book Thief, titled Main Kampf, the narrative delves deeper into the horrors and complexities of Nazi Germany. This section explores the escalating war, the tightening grip of Hitler's regime, and the impact of these events on Liesel and those around her. The title, Main Kampf, references Adolf Hitler's autobiography and manifesto, which plays a symbolic role throughout the section. Liesel encounters the book in the home of the mayor's wife, Ilsa Hermann, during one of her book-stealing escapades. The stolen book becomes a poignant symbol of rebellion against the oppressive regime and an act of reclaiming words from the clutches of hatred. As the war intensifies, the inhabitants of Malching find themselves subjected to increasing hardships and dangers. Bombings become a regular occurrence, leaving the town devastated and forcing its residents to confront the realities of war. The Hubermans, Liesel's foster family, face their own challenges as they continue to hide Max Vandenberg in their basement, risking their lives for the sake of compassion and humanity. Liesel's love for words and storytelling deepens during this part. She finds solace in reading to her neighbors during air raids, providing a brief respite from the horrors of war. Liesel's ability to harness the power of words as a source of comfort and connection becomes a testament to the resilience of the human spirit amidst chaos. In Main Kampf, the bonds between characters are further tested. Liesel's friendship with Rudy Steiner grows stronger as they navigate the harsh realities of the war together. Liesel's relationship with Max Vandenberg also deepens, as they share stories and forge a powerful connection through their mutual love for words. Part 3 of The Book Thief, 
encompassing multiple chapters, serves as a turning point in the narrative. It showcases the characters' endurance, their defiance against the oppressive regime, and their determination to preserve their humanity. Amidst the backdrop of war and hatred, Liesel's unwavering spirit and her growing understanding of the power of words continue to shape her journey. As we progress into the subsequent parts, the narrative will unfold further, delving into the consequences of the characters' choices and the profound impact of their actions in a world consumed by darkness. The Standover Man In Part 4 of The Book Thief, titled The Standover Man, the narrative takes a poignant and introspective turn. This section delves into the themes of identity, fear, and the profound impact of storytelling. It offers a deeper exploration of Liesel's relationships and provides crucial insights into the experiences of Max Vandenberg, the Jewish man hidden in the Huberman's basement. The Standover Man refers to a story written by Max Vandenberg himself, crafted during his time in hiding. This story serves as a metaphorical representation of his life and experiences, as well as a reflection of Liesel's journey. Through the pages of Max's story, readers gain a deeper understanding of his struggles, fears, and resilience. Max's narration serves as a haunting reminder of the injustices and horrors faced by Jews during the Holocaust, adding a layer of emotional depth to the narrative. In this part, Liesel develops a profound connection with Max as she reads his story. The bond they share through their shared love for words and storytelling becomes a source of solace and strength for both of them. Liesel's role as the standover man, reading Max's story while he hides in the basement, further underscores the transformative power of words in times of darkness. Additionally, Liesel's friendship with Rudy Steiner continues to evolve, with their shared adventures and moments of joy providing a respite from the harsh realities of war. Their unwavering loyalty to one another becomes a testament to the enduring power of friendship in the face of adversity. Part 4, consisting of multiple chapters, marks a crucial juncture in the narrative, deepening the emotional connections between the characters and exploring the themes of empathy, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. Through Liesel's interactions with Max and her continued growth as a storyteller, the power of words to bridge gaps, heal wounds, and inspire hope shines brightly. As we progress into the subsequent parts, the narrative will continue to unravel, presenting the challenges, sacrifices, and acts of bravery that define Liesel's journey as the book thief reaches its poignant climax. The Whistler and the Shoes in Part 5 of The Book Thief, titled The Whistler and the Shoes, the narrative delves into the themes of compassion, sacrifice, and the transformative power of small acts of kindness. This section explores the bonds forged between characters, the impact of war on everyday life, and the resiliency of the human spirit. The title, The Whistler and the Shoes, references an incident where Liesel, while stealing a book, witnesses a young boy being whipped by a Nazi soldier. The act of compassion Liesel demonstrates by offering a comforting whistle to the boy in distress becomes a metaphor for the moments of humanity amidst the cruelty of war. This part sheds light on the everyday struggles faced by Liesel and the people of Malching. Food shortages, rationing, and the constant threat of bombings create an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty. Liesel's ability to find solace in books and her unwavering spirit of compassion become beacons of hope amidst the darkness. The relationships between characters continue to evolve in this part. Liesel's friendship with Rudy Steiner deepens, and their bond becomes a source of strength for both of them. The Huberman's love and support for Liesel grow as they navigate the challenges of the war together, forming a tight-knit family unit. Amidst the hardships, Liesel's passion for storytelling persists. She begins to write her own story, symbolizing her growing agency and her desire to shape her own narrative. The act of writing becomes a way for Liesel to process her emotions, express her thoughts, and assert her individuality. Part 5, spanning multiple chapters, showcases the resilience of the characters and their unwavering commitment to one another. 
It highlights the importance of empathy and small acts of kindness in the face of adversity. Through Liesel's perspective, readers are reminded of the power of compassion to heal wounds and bring light to even the darkest of times. As we progress into the subsequent parts, the narrative will continue to unravel, delving into the complexities of Liesel's journey and the profound impact of her relationships, words, and actions in a world shattered by war. The Dream Carrier In Part 6 of The Book Thief, titled The Dream Carrier, the narrative delves into the themes of dreams, hope, and the power of imagination. This section explores Liesel's evolving understanding of the world, her dreams for the future, and the impact of war on the lives of those around her. The dream carrier refers to Liesel's brother, Werner, who passed away at the beginning of the story. Liesel carries his memory and dreams within her, using them as sources of inspiration and motivation. In this part, Liesel's relationship with Max Vandenberg continues to grow. Max, still hiding in the Huberman's basement, becomes a mentor figure for Liesel, sharing his own dreams, stories, and artwork with her. Their shared experiences of loss and resilience forge a deep bond between them. Liesel's friendship with Rudy Steiner also reaches new heights in this section. They become inseparable companions, supporting and encouraging each other through the challenges they face. Their shared dreams and aspirations become a symbol of hope and determination in the midst of a war-torn society. Additionally, Liesel's passion for books and storytelling continues to flourish. She becomes more confident in her ability to read and share stories, taking on the role of a storyteller in her neighborhood and bringing comfort to those around her. The power of literature to transport, heal, and connect people becomes a prevailing theme. Part 6, consisting of multiple chapters, marks a crucial phase in Liesel's journey of self-discovery and resilience. It emphasizes the importance of dreams and imagination as sources of strength and inspiration, even in the darkest of times. Liesel's determination to carry forward the dreams of her loved ones and to forge her own path becomes a testament to the indomitable human spirit. As we progress into the subsequent parts, the narrative will continue to unfold, presenting the challenges, choices, and moments of profound impact that shape Liesel's story. The themes of dreams, hope, and the enduring power of storytelling will continue to resonate, offering glimpses of light and humanity in a world consumed by war. The Complete Duden Dictionary and Thesaurus In Part 7 of The Book Thief, titled The Complete Duden Dictionary and Thesaurus, the narrative takes a reflective turn as it explores the complexities of language, the search for identity, and the transformative power of words. This section delves into Liesel's continued growth as a reader, writer, and as an individual coming of age in the midst of war. The title, The Complete Duden Dictionary and Thesaurus, references a book that plays a significant role in Liesel's life. As Liesel becomes more proficient in reading and writing, the dictionary becomes her constant companion, a tool for expanding her vocabulary and understanding of the world. The dictionary becomes a symbol of knowledge, empowerment, and the quest for self-expression. In this part, Liesel's relationship with Max Vandenberg deepens further. As they share their love for words and storytelling, Max encourages Liesel to write her own story. Through their conversations and collaborations, they explore the power of language to shape perceptions, challenge authority, and preserve one's identity in the face of adversity. Liesel's friendship with Rudy Steiner continues to evolve, with their bond growing stronger amidst the hardships of war. Their shared dreams, aspirations, and acts of rebellion against the regime solidify their connection as they navigate the challenges and losses they face. Additionally, the section explores the broader impact of war on Liesel's community. The town of Mulching experiences the devastating consequences of the conflict, with bombings becoming more frequent and losses mounting. Liesel's role as a source of comfort and escape through her storytelling becomes even more crucial for those around her. Part 7, encompassing multiple chapters, marks a pivotal moment in Liesel's journey as she realizes the power of words to shape her own narrative. 
It highlights the importance of language as a tool for self-expression, connection, and resistance. Through Liesel's experiences, readers witness the transformative potential of literature in challenging times. As we progress into the subsequent parts, the narrative will continue to unfold, exploring Liesel's choices, relationships, and the lasting impact of her words and actions. The themes of language, identity, and the resilience of the human spirit will continue to resonate, offering insights into the power of storytelling to transcend the limitations of a world torn apart by war. The Word Shaker In Part 8 of The Book Thief, titled The Word Shaker, the narrative delves into the themes of propaganda, the manipulation of language, and the role of storytelling in challenging oppressive ideologies. This section explores Liesel's growing awareness of the power of words to shape minds and the profound impact of her own storytelling. The word shaker refers to a story that Liesel writes during this part of the book. In her story, Liesel portrays herself as a young girl who uses the power of words to resist the oppressive regime. Through this story, Liesel confronts the propaganda and hate speech prevalent in Nazi Germany and advocates for compassion, unity, and the pursuit of a more just society. In this part, the influence of Hitler's ideology becomes more pronounced. Liesel witnesses the Hitler youth propaganda firsthand, experiencing the indoctrination and the manipulation of language that permeates society. The contrasting power of storytelling and the truth it can reveal become increasingly evident to Liesel as she grapples with the moral implications of the world she inhabits. Liesel's relationships with Max Vandenberg and Rudy Steiner continue to evolve, with both characters playing pivotal roles in her journey. Max's resilience and his unwavering spirit serve as a source of inspiration, while Rudy's loyalty and defiance mirror Liesel's own resistance to the oppressive regime. Additionally, Liesel's bond with her foster parents, Hans and Rosa Huberman, deepens as they navigate the dangers and hardships of war together. Their unwavering love and support provide a foundation of strength for Liesel as she confronts the challenges of her environment. Part 8, consisting of multiple chapters, marks a crucial phase in Liesel's development as a storyteller and an advocate for truth and compassion. It explores the power dynamics of language, the importance of questioning prevailing ideologies, and the potential for storytelling to challenge and inspire change. As we progress into the subsequent parts, the narrative will continue to unfold, presenting the consequences of Liesel's choices and the profound impact of her storytelling. The themes of propaganda, resistance, and the transformative power of words will continue to shape Liesel's journey, offering insights into the enduring power of storytelling to challenge oppressive systems and inspire hope. The Last Human Stranger In Part 9 of The Book Thief, titled The Last Human Stranger, the narrative reaches a climactic point as the consequences of Liesel's actions and the war itself come to a head. This section explores themes of loss, grief, resilience, and the enduring power of human connections in the face of tragedy. The Last Human Stranger references the changing dynamics of Liesel's relationships and her growing understanding of the fragility of life. As war takes its toll on Liesel's community, she becomes acutely aware of the impermanence of human connections and the profound impact they can have. In this part, Liesel's relationships undergo significant transformations. She experiences the loss of loved ones and grapples with grief, questioning her own resilience in the face of tragedy. Liesel's friendship with Rudy Steiner takes on a deeper poignancy as they navigate the harsh realities of war together. The impact of the war becomes increasingly evident as Liesel witnesses the horrors of the concentration camps and the devastating aftermath of bombings. The collective grief and trauma of the community weigh heavily on Liesel as she confronts the true cost of the conflict. Amidst the darkness, Liesel's love for books and storytelling persists. She finds solace in the written word and continues to share stories with those around her, providing a fleeting escape from the harsh realities of war. Part 9, encompassing multiple chapters, represents a crucial turning point in the narrative, 
as Liesel confronts the full extent of the war's devastation and experiences personal losses. It explores the depths of human resilience and the enduring power of love and connection in the face of overwhelming tragedy. As we progress into the subsequent parts, the narrative will continue to unravel, presenting the culmination of Liesel's journey and the impact of her choices and relationships. The themes of grief, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit will continue to resonate, offering glimpses of hope and the enduring power of the human capacity for love and empathy. The Book Thief In the final part of, The Book Thief, appropriately titled, The Book Thief, the narrative reaches its poignant conclusion, bringing together the themes of love, loss, resilience, and the enduring power of storytelling. This section offers a reflection on Liesel's journey, her growth as a reader and writer, and the impact she has had on those around her. In this part, Liesel's experiences throughout the war and her relationships with Max Vandenberg, Rudy Steiner, and her foster parents, Hans and Rosa Huberman, come full circle. The narrative explores the lasting impact of these connections and the ways in which Liesel's presence and storytelling have shaped the lives of those she encountered. Liesel's love for books and her passion for storytelling continue to serve as guiding forces in her life. Through her written words and her ability to connect with others through stories, Liesel leaves an indelible mark on her community, offering moments of solace, hope, and inspiration in the midst of darkness. As the war draws to a close, Liesel is faced with the weight of her losses and the challenges of rebuilding her life. The narrative highlights her resilience and her determination to move forward, despite the scars left by the war. It underscores the power of human connection and the role of literature in helping individuals find healing and a sense of purpose. Part 10, spanning multiple chapters, represents the culmination of Liesel's journey as the book thief. It provides a sense of closure while leaving space for reflection on the profound impact of her experiences. It reminds readers of the enduring power of storytelling to transcend time, preserve memories, and shape lives. As the narrative concludes, readers are left with a deeper appreciation for the strength of the human spirit and the capacity of literature to illuminate the darkest corners of history. Liesel's story serves as a testament to the transformative power of words and the resilience of the human heart. The Book Thief is a remarkable exploration of love, loss, and the transcendent power of storytelling in the face of adversity. It offers a poignant and thought-provoking narrative that lingers in the hearts and minds of readers long after the final page is turned. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak is a profoundly moving and thought-provoking novel that captivates readers with its powerful storytelling, memorable characters, and exploration of the human spirit in the midst of war. Zusak's unique writing style, with its rich metaphors, evocative language, and deeply empathetic narration, draws readers into the emotional landscape of Liesel Meminger's journey. Through Liesel's eyes, readers witness the profound impact of words, both as weapons of destruction and as tools of redemption and connection. The book highlights the resilience and strength of ordinary individuals in extraordinary circumstances, reminding us of the power of compassion, the importance of standing up against injustice, and the lasting impact of small acts of kindness. Zusak's ability to intertwine heart-wrenching moments with moments of beauty and hope creates a narrative that is simultaneously heart-rending and life-affirming. His storytelling transcends the boundaries of time and place, reminding us of the enduring power of literature to bear witness to history and to touch the depths of the human experience. The Book Thief invites readers to reflect on the true cost of war, the complexities of human relationships, and the ways in which stories can shape our lives. It encourages us to cherish the written word, to value empathy and understanding, and to recognize the extraordinary impact of seemingly ordinary individuals. In the end, The Book Thief leaves an indelible mark on its readers, reminding us of the power of literature to ignite our imaginations, broaden our perspectives, and inspire us to be agents of change in our own lives and in the world around us. It is a book that lingers in the hearts and minds of readers, 
offering a profound reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of stories. The book Thief by Marcus Zusak does not include an epilogue. The narrative concludes with the final part, offering a sense of closure and reflection on Liesel Meminger's journey. The absence of an epilogue allows readers to contemplate the lasting impact of the story and its characters, leaving room for individual interpretation and reflection. The final chapters provide a poignant resolution to the narrative, offering a sense of completion while leaving readers with a lasting impression of the power of storytelling and the resilience of the human spirit.